Yo, what's going on guys? So uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who commented on the video I posted uh, a few days ago where I was talking about how I should do these 10 PSN giveaways. Uh, should I keep doing them or not keep doing them, whatever. And you guys actually helped me out a lot because I think I'm going to do what basically everyone said. Um, everyone just said uh, do it, but don't put it in the description or title of the video. So people don't just watch the video just to get the 10 PSN, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm going to start doing. So thank you very much for helping me out, guys. I don't know why I never thought about that. Um, just uh, saying it in the video but not putting it in the title. It's kind of smart. But then again, I'm kind of stupid, so I can figure out why I never thought about that. So anyways, in this video, guys, I am going to talk about a uh, very crazy slash weird story where a fucking flying squirrel, squirrel was in my room about a year ago and it's terrifying but first before I tell that story um, I might as well just start the video off right away with doing a 10 PSN giveaway but I won't put it in the title so if you are watching this um, you can oh is that a guy no so if you're watching this um, comment your PSN name um, but make sure you don't say anything about it. Make sure you like basically just comment your PSN name because I don't want people who don't watch the video to like just look at the comments and realize that it is a 10 PSN giveaway if that makes any sense. So try not to give it away in the comment section. Just comment your PSN name, whatever. So yeah, and I will probably announce the winner. Um, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit. Um, I'll probably post this video tonight, which is Wednesday night, I believe. But, um, I'll probably announce the winner, like, Monday or something. So, yeah, comment your PSN names. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into this story real quick. So, this story is, is about a flying squirrel, like I said, that escaped in my room. Well, didn't really escape in my room, but appeared in my room, I guess you could say. So, this was about, oh, and by the way, I'm horrible at telling stories. So, if you just want to comment your PSN names or whatever... You can just do that and not listen to my story. It's okay, because I'm really bad at telling stories. But anyways, if you do want to hear it, here it is. So, this happened about a year ago. And it was about, I think, 12.30 at night. I was sleeping in my bed. And I have two windows in my room. And I live in a two-story house. And I have two windows in my room. One of the windows is right next to my bed. And it's about 12.30 at night, and I wake up to this, like, this really uh, weird noise outside of my window. Like, I, I can almost hear something crawling on the outside of my window, if that makes any sense. And, keep in mind, I had my window open because it was really hot out or something, and there was only a screen there, so it was just like the screen door or whatever. And, to make things better, I had, like, a small hole in my screen. So, yeah. So, I hear this noise. And I'm like, what the heck? Is there, like, a freaking raccoon on the side of my house or something weird like that? So, I hear this noise. And I'm like, okay, whatever. It stops for, like, a few minutes. Then I hear it again. And then I can he actually hear something crawling, like, in my window cell or whatever. So, I'm like, what the heck? I can actually hear it crawling like inside it like right outside my window screen so i hop up out of my bed like 100 miles an hour and i go and turn on my light real quick and then i look towards my window and there's a freaking weird type squirrel thingy sitting on my window ledge inside my room just sitting there staring at me and it had huge freaking eyes and I was freaking out so I just stood there and stared at it and the first thing that came in mind is what the frick is this thing I know it's not a squirrel and it's not a freaking rabbit or anything like that it's like a freaking weird squirrel with huge massive eyes it's like a mentally handicapped squirrel with eight times the size Eight, it's, it's like, okay, what am I saying? It's eyes are like eight times the size of a normal squirrel, and it has like wings on it. So, oh, fuck you. So I'm standing there staring at it, and me and this thing are just staring at each other, and I'm trying not to move, 
because I'm like, okay, this thing looks really, like, retarded, but it looks really cute at the same time. So I'm like, what the heck is this thing? So we're standing there staring at it. Uh, guys, I have a problem with dragging on my story super long where I never get anywhere telling the story, so sorry. I'll try to make it more fast. Anyways, so me and this thing are just staring at each other, and then I'm like, do I move, do I move? Is it gonna go back outside through that hole in the screen door? So I start to like move really slowly towards it, hoping that it goes back outside the window. If that makes any sense? Oh, excuse me. So I start moving towards it, and then it hops in my freaking room and goes behind my bed. So I'm like, oh, great. This is just awesome, amazing. So at this point, I'm not freaking out, really. I'm like, okay, this thing looks freaking cute, and I'll probably keep it as a freaking pet because it looks cool, and its eyes are enormous, so I can just make fun of it all the time. No, but, um, so yeah, at this point, I wasn't panicking, so it went behind my bed. So... I tried to find, like, um, what did I find at first? I think, like, a shirt I picked up, or, like, a sweatshirt, to try to, like, grab it and pick it up. Because I didn't freaking know if this thing had rabies or anything like that, or if it was going to bite me, or if it was, like, freaking really friendly, or anything like that. So, I go to pick up a sweatshirt or something, and I see it, like, just hiding behind my bed. And then I try to grab it, and then it goes all the way under my bed, and it's just sitting all the way under there where I can't reach it, just like staring at me with eyes the size of like freaking Mars, just bulging out at me, staring at me. So I'm like, okay, this thing is annoying, just come over by me, I'm nice, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm just gonna put you outside or keep you as a pet, okay, you don't have to be afraid of me. So then, I try to reach under there with a stick, and then he comes, like, sprinting towards me, and then, like, goes under some clothes that I had in the side of the room, and my room was, was really messy at this time, so he kept going under these piles of clothes I had in my room, and under every single dresser I had in my freaking room. So, at this point, it's like 2 o'clock in, in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, and my parents are sleeping at this point, so I'm trying to be really quiet. So, it got to the point where I could not catch this thing, and I didn't know what to do. So I started to panic and freak the frick out, because this thing was like 100 miles an hour, and it kept like going in places that I didn't even know existed in my room. Like all these tiny cracks and corners and under piles of clothes and stuff. So, what did I do next? So, why are you camping there? Oh, thank you teammate. So, it's like, yeah, what did I say? It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm horrible at stories, sorry. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, at this point, like I said, I'm starting to panic and freak out. And at this point, I'm starting to sweat because it's like 100 degrees. So I'm starting to sweat and panic and freak out that I cannot catch this thing. And if my parents found out that this thing was in my room, they would freak the fuck out. And like, bitch at me saying, you need to clean your room. The only reason this thing came in your room is because your room is dirty and it wants to live in here because it wants to feed off your dirty room or something weird like that. So, it's like 3 o'clock, like I said, and I keep repeating myself. This is the worst story ever, but it's like 3 o'clock. And at this point, I'm starting to panic because I cannot fucking catch this thing because it's like 100 miles an hour. So, it's like 3 o'clock, and then at this point... It just decides to randomly start flying across my freaking room. And when I say flying across my room, I mean using its little wings it has, the flying squirrel or whatever you want to call it. Flying squirrel, yeah, that's what it's called. It uses its little wings and it would fly across my room and like hop. It wouldn't even fly, it would like hop and then glide with its weird wings and huge eyes and like go, uh, keep going like back and forth across my whole entire room. And it kept like pouncing on the walls, like holding onto the walls. I don't know how he was even holding onto the walls or anything. But yeah, and at this point, I'm starting to freak out. And I think I posted it on my other Twitter account like a year ago where I just, I was honestly going insane. I was losing it. I was, I felt like a crazy person because there was a fucking flying squirrel in my room. I didn't know if I was dreaming or not. And I could not catch this thing. And it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I've been trying to catch this thing for like 4 hours now. 
So I start to freak out, and time goes by, and I still don't catch this freaking thing because it keeps flying across my room like a freaking crazy person. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I need fucking help. I can't do this by myself. I'm losing my mind. So I go to my brother's room, and I lightly knock on his door, and I'm like, dude, you need to come in my room now. And he's like, why? What the fuck? Why'd you wake me up? Uh, why'd you wake me up? So I'm like, I have a flying squirrel in my room. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yes, I have a flying freaking squirrel in my room. Help me get it out. He's like, what do you mean? So he went in there and he saw it. And he was like freaking screaming like a little girl. Kind of, not really. But so that made me panic even more. So I was like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, and we can't be quiet because we can't wake up mom and dad or else they're going to be pissed. So he was like, okay, let's just get a bat and smash it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, he's cute, okay? And I was like, okay, maybe you're right, because this thing is fucking annoying, and I don't like it anymore. It was cute, but now it's not cute, because I can't catch it. So, me and him would get, what was it? It was like a boot. I had a boot in my room, one of my shoes, and we trapped it in this corner. And then we, like, put the boot over it. And I like shove a shirt in the boot then to trap it. Then I flip the boot over and I'm like, yes, I, I caught it. And then I go and open it up a little bit to see if he's in there. And he's not fucking in there. He somehow escaped from my freaking boot. Even though I know I had him in there. So I'm like, okay, fuck this little fucking thing. I'm so fucking sick of this little flying squirrel with huge eyes the size of freaking basketball. So, hold on, I'm taking a drink. Oh, they have wraps. Sweet. So, we trap him in another corner, and then I take a sweatshirt, and I, like, try to, like, I see him in the corner, I take a sweatshirt, try to, like, smash him against the wall with the sweatshirt over him, like, squish him, in a way, because at this point, you know, his cuteness, his cuteness wasn't even a factor, I just hated this freaking thing, and I wanted him dead, I wanted him out of my room. I know I'm such a bad person. But, at this point, he's in the corner, I, like, crush him with a sweatshirt up against the wall, and then I pick him up with the sweatshirt, put him in, like, a boot, and then I walk downstairs, and I throw him outside, and then he runs, I, well, I throw the boot outside, and then he, uh, runs away, like, limping on one leg, but he was okay, I think. So, oh, we lost by two points, so I wasn't even paying attention. I probably didn't even help my team out at all. Yep, I didn't. So we throw him outside, and he runs away limping. And I'm like, finally. And my brother's like, well, you know, he's probably just going to come back in your room, like, in the, within the next week. I'm like, fuck, I should have thought about that. should have let him go somewhere else or something. So that's basically my story. At the time, there was a stupid flying squirrel in my room, and I was freaking out, and guys... I didn't even explain it that much. I mean, I did. I suck at telling stories, as you could tell. But, um... Yeah, it's pretty much it. And this whole t And I think it was... About 6 o'clock in the morning by the time I got the thing out. So from, like, 12.30 at night, from 6 o'clock, I was trying to catch this fucking thing. I could not catch him. But I finally did. And now we have new windows in the house. So I'm happy about that. No more flying squirrels can get in here. At least I hope not. And that's pretty much it. Um, that was the worst story ever. Wow. That was, I didn't even explain it. There's so much more that happened that I don't want to explain because I drag on stories so long and I'm doing it right now. I just keep talking when I should end the video. So I'm just going to end the video right now. Um, if you're still watching this, um, like I said, if you somehow forgot, time PSN giveaway, comment your PSN name in the comment section and... This was the worst story ever. You're welcome. Thank you very much if you watched this long. And, okay, I have to end it. Okay, bye.